Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Hey, in this video, I just want to show you guys a box that I'm going to be opening. It's going to be the NFL 2020 Select Mega Box. I got this the other day and I know it's it's been hard to get any, any uh, retail boxes, hobby boxes. Um, if you haven't heard, you know, Target recently uh, suspended the sale of NFL, MLB, hockey. Actually, you know what, not hockey. I believe it's only NFL, NBA, and Pokemon cards. So what's gonna happen to these boxes? I don't know, it's only temporarily. Hopefully they can figure out a situation. But um, I just thought, hey, you know what? I have a box, why not open it just to show you guys uh, what's in it and if there's any surprises so here we go I got my gloves ready got my little knife so let's get to it I'm excited to open this uh, my this is gonna be my first my first <clears throat> um, opening of the select product so hopefully I get some bangers in here so key rookie cards we're looking for Justin Jefferson, Justin Herbert, uh, Joe Burrow, you know, those are the key ones I'm looking for. There's some other rookie stars, but I'm also looking for Tua. Um, so, you know, there, there's a couple I'm looking for in here, but we'll see what we get. All right. So in this box, I want to show before I actually open the packs, it's gonna be 40 cards per box in this mega box. And there's gonna be 10 packs in here, four cards per pack, okay? So just to give you guys a heads up. All right, so here we go. All right, put the box aside. Okay, we got all these packs right here. Let's do it. First pack. Let's see what we got. I'm doing this sideways, by the way. But I'll still show you what's in the camera. Okay, so we got a uh, JJ Watt. Ooh, ooh, what's behind JJ Watt? Patrick Willis die cut. Okay, we got a Patrick Willis die cut. Okay, he's a he's a he's a good linebacker for the San Francisco. I. Really preferred the other ones, but the other rookies, but it's okay. Hey, that's still a good card. We got a Russell Wilson Hot Stars. I like Russell Wilson. I think he's I think he's the most underrated uh quarterback in the NFL right now. His prices are insanely cheap and underpriced. Okay, so we got another rookie right here. We got our first rookie, should I say. Keyshawn Vaughn. We got Keyshawn Vaughn out of Tampa. I'm not sure if I've heard of him before. This is actually the club level. This is going to be Keyshawn Vaughn select club level card. So this is the new... Um, I guess level to be added with all these three others. So now you have four, four select levels. You have, you have the field level, now club level, premier level, and then the concourse. So it's interesting these club levels. It's uh, it's unique, but I really, I don't know where it's going to go in the market. If it's going to go above field level one day, I don't think currently. I don't think it's above field level right now. But we'll see what club level goes. Yeah. Definitely have to see the results, how 
how they differ. All right, so second pack, guys. All right. All right, here we go. I got, I see another die cut. All right, T Higgins. T Higgins. Rookie car, wow. This is actually a good hit. I would consider this a good hit. This is gonna be his concourse select level rookie card. Look at that, look at that beauty. That's a, that's a good hit right there. It's def, definitely a banger. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that up. Make sure it's protected. Yeah, T. Higgins, I can't wait to see him, how he does this upcoming season. Um, of course, you have some other, you got some other receivers that, uh, that are coming about, but I believe T. Higgins will definitely get his production time once you know, Joe Burrow comes back, once he's 100% once he's healthy. So yeah. Definitely, definitely a good keeper there. All right, so continuing on, we got another die cut prism. And this is gonna be Zach Moss. This is another rookie out of Buffalo. Not bad, not bad. I haven't looked into Zach Moss. I've heard his name around. Um, I'm not sure about his stats right now. I'm not sure how he did last season, but either way, it's a die cut. It's a rookie car, so you can't go wrong with that. Okay. So I'll definitely sleeve that up. That's a nice, shiny purple die cut. Look at that. That's nice. It's premier level, so... Premier levels are getting, I would say, right there up with field levels. Not, not, not surpassing them, but as far as prices, they're almost, uh, they're almost neck to neck. Yeah, that's a beauty right there. All right, continue on. Some of you guys already probably already saw it. I got a Baker Mayfield die cut. Looks like a, I don't know what kind of variation this is. This might be a silver. Yeah, it looks like a silver, okay? So this is a good card. Not his rookie card, but nonetheless, I think Baker's gonna be a great quarterback in the future. And if you look at his stats, He's actually doing very decent as an upcoming quarterback. Um, he just needs, you know, he actually, he has weapons. He has weapons to help him. Um, but, yeah, he looks like a elite quarterback coming up. So, very good card right there. Definitely sleeve that up. Definitely put that in the holder. Will I grade this one? Um, I don't know. Maybe in the future. Maybe. Uh, right now, it looks like PSA prices are going to be back up once they fully open. I don't think I'll grade this right away. Um, but I will definitely consider it at a later time. You know what? Let me go ahead and put Russell Wilson, Keyshawn Vaughn in here. Or sleeve them up. Select is a very good uh, product. I like Select. And I don't know one person right now that doesn't like Select. I've heard nothing but great things about Select. Um, yeah, Select is just an overall good product. And I kind of talked about it in one of my videos. I compared, uh, I compared Luca. 
Luca's base prism to his select cards and his I believe it was his premier level it was already surpassing um, his premier level was surpassing his um, prism base so automatically right there you know select is going to be in hot it's, it's a hot commodity um, them going to retail see that's the thing target stopped for now they may or may not be you know selling selling nfl or cards select in you know in the future i, I think they will I just, this is just a temporary hold but um you know let's say if they didn't stop you know will select be as valuable i don't know i think the market is just the market changes every day and you know because just think about it you have the select product in retail stores now so it's not as scarce as it was before so will that change as far as demand will it, will it change as far as scarcity it may or may not i don't know but i definitely tell you that select right now is in hot demand so them going to retail it didn't it did nothing but increase the demand for the select product so that's for sure all right so let's see the last card in the second pack cam chancellor cam's chancellor okay seahawks i like the seahawks good team good team especially you got russell wilson there and there was some rumors of him not being happy in seattle i don't think you know i i, I like to go into i like to research everything i hear i don't really believe everything i see in here so i'll research anything i don't think it was a fact that he was he was not happy he just wanted seattle to um contribute more to the offensive line he wanted to be protected more it's not the fact that he wanted to leave it's just the fact that he wanted improvement in the offensive line that's it and that is very understandable from any quarterback perspective so all right guys back to the packs this is the third pack third pack Let's see if we get any more bangers. Uh, I got my gloves on, so it's kind of can't can't feel as much. But let me see. Here we go. All right, we got another rookie card, James Morgan. James Morgan out of New York. I'm not sure if I've heard of him, but regardless, it's a rookie car. You never know. You just never know, folks. That's why I like to just still protect all my cards. And if a player comes out great, then I bust it out and consider either selling it or sending it for grading so i would say my recommendation my recommendation is do not get rid of your cards even the rookie cards that you've never heard of i recommend just saving them put them away in the box and once you hear their names more then bust out that box again bust out your card and there's your chance. There might be a chance to either send it to grading or to sell it raw. But either way, it's going to be a win for you. All right, so we got here, we got Lamar Jackson die cut, purple prism. It's a nice card. That's a very nice card. All 
Okay, I like I like Lamar Jackson. He's you know, I think he I think he runs too much, but <laughs> uh and the problem with you know running too much is you have the chance for injury, you know. Um and then also, you know, that's why you have running backs. You know, I understand you're trying to get that first down. You know, or maybe it's be a last minute thing and you have no no receivers open. I just I just don't agree with a, a quarterback, you know, running more, you know, producing more uh rushing yards than a running back. I just never understood that. Like I said, it just it's um you're risking yourself for injury, so why risk it? You know, especially in, especially in the NFL. Why risk it? Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Michael Vick. This is an insert, and it looks looks like a very good card. Michael Vick. Speaking of running running as a quarterback, Michael Vick was the first one. That's I think started it all. He set the foundation for a quarterback that's that can that runs that can produce not only uh, excuse me uh, passing yards but rushing yards. So he started everything. After him, I think just every other quarterback starting running more. You know, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you have a risk for injuries. You know. But yeah, this is a good insert. I like this. I like Michael Vick. I have uh, I have a couple of his rookie cards. But yeah, that's a good card. So I see another. I see another rookie. I see another rookie, and it looks like a silver. Yep, Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson out of Chicago. Okay. I haven't heard of him. He's a cornerback. So he's uh, he's a defensive back for Chicago. Very nice card. A little, I would say a little off-centered. So this card, I would not send a grading because you could, uh, as you can see from right to left, it's very off-centered so this card would not and him just being a defensive back is just more reason not to send it to grading and I wish you know I wish defensive backs would get as much love as quarterbacks running backs wide receivers and I really I really do but the fact is that defensive players don't get any love they just don't. So I'll still keep it and you know possibly sell it raw. But as far as uh, sending it to grading, this is a automatic elimination. All right. So this is what pack are we on? I believe this is the fourth pack. Okay. So so far so good. We got decent cards. I'd like to see. The players that I mentioned, I haven't got any of them. I haven't seen Justin Jefferson, Herbert, Burrow, Tua. I haven't seen them yet. I was, I'm hoping to get one of their prisms. But we shall see, folks. We shall see. Okay. Ooh, Derek Henry. Derek Henry. That's a nice card. And I've talked about him a lot in my videos. This guy is a complete beast. Complete beast. He he led the NFL in rushing yards last season. And I've been investing in Derek Henry a lot. If you go back to my other videos, I show all his stats, I show his accolades. 
he has a very good uh, chance to, to be all the rushing records, you know. If he stays healthy, of course, he stays healthy and he lives or uh, produces a good career. He has a chance. He's already off to a good start. So all he needs to be is consistent. So far, he's consistent. So this one has, is also off-centered, as you can see, from right to left. Um, plus, it's not his rookie card. But still, it's still a nice card. I would not send it to grading, just like the other one, but very good card to have. Um, yeah. But Derrick Henry is an absolute beast. And if you get a chance, check out that video. I talk about him, I talk about um, four other quarterbacks with him that I'm investing in right now. I'm still investing in them right now. Derrick Henry happens to be one of the top of the line running backs that I'm investing right now. So definitely, definitely a good player to invest in right now. All right, so we got a rookie die cut purple prism, Michael Pittman Jr. from the Colts. That's a nice card. Centering looks good. Yeah, this corner's good. This actually, mm. see with die cuts, it's very, it's more difficult to grade because the edges go all the way around here. They, they don't have the same shape as a regular card. So I can see that from right to left on these sides, it's, it's pretty much even. Same thing with the top. But if you look closely, here at the bottom, you see where his nameplate is, and you see that little edge on the left and right, it's off. Okay, so everything else is perfect about this card. The surface, the all the rest of the edges, but you can see where his nameplate is, it's not centered. So at the most, it'd probably get a nine from PSA. But um yeah. And it really depends on if he pops off, you know, this this upcoming season. You know, he's he's getting accolated with Indianapolis. Um, they have Carson Wentz now, so I would expect Mike, for Michael Pittman Jr. to have a good year. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. But it's those kind of things that I mentioned right here, it's anybody else, you know, would say it's a perfect card, but you have to look at these the nameplate right here with these die cuts. It's just the way it is. Um, just because the other edges are centered doesn't mean this one is, and you can clearly see that. So just watch out for those little things, guys. Uh, would I send this to grading? I already know I'm going to get like a 9. So it's I'm not going to get a 10. Um, I would only send this if, if Michael Pittman got hot. If he got... If he started the year off like really good and... You know, maybe. Maybe not... Uh, you know what? I also see another thing. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the card. Maybe I don't want to take it back out, but I see a little print line. You, you probably can't see it, but I see a little print line too. So that might affect the surface. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a small print line that's right here. You can. It's barely noticeable. I didn't notice it until I kind of leaned the the car towards the light, but it's right there. So. Okay, so that's two points off, and yeah, this is not, um, this is probably not going to be uh, grading, grading worthy, but regardless, it's still an awesome car to look at, and I will be open to trade or sell it raw, no problem. All right, we got another insert, Ezekiel Elliott. 
Because Ezekiel, you know, um, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of opinions about him. You know, he, um, he started off great his rookie season, and but, you know, last season, as everybody knows, Dak, you know, Prescott got injured, and for some reason, that affected his performance. That affected Ezekiel Elliott's performance, you know, and he just, as soon as Dak got injured, you know, his numbers and his performance just went downhill. So I, I even guess second guess myself even investing him anymore. I have about like two or three rookie cards of him, but I've even kind of like stopped myself and say, do I really want to invest in him? He may or may not be back. I don't know, but you have to ask yourself, are you willing to take that risk? For me, uh, right now, no. But I'm also not selling his cards, so. I'm not buying or selling his cards right now. Um, but, you know, if Dak really affected his performance and Dak's going to be back, then he, you know, he might still be, he still might be worthy enough, you know? So his numbers might, might come up, you know? Last season was just a bad season for him. So hopefully he can, uh, once Dak comes up, gets healthy, you know, Ezekiel Elliott's uh, numbers go back up, as, back up as well. All right, we got another rookie here, Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor out of Indianapolis. I could already see it as soon as I picked up the card. Um, let me see, I'll so show you guys. See, from left to right, it's off-centered. It's off center from left to right and also from top to bottom. So, you guys see it? Yeah, it's definitely off centered. Surface looks, surface looks immaculate. Corners are good. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just off center. Man, I'm getting a lot of off center cards. <laughs> <laughs> but it's his rookie card. So Jonathan Taylor, you have a good you have good people up there in Indianapolis now, so let's do something, man. Uh would I send this card a grading? Probably not. Just because of that off centering. It's just too much. It's just, you know, you can, I mean, it's clearly off center from left to right, top to bottom. I mean, you would think that, you know, printing these cards and developing these cards, they would get a better system, but I guess not. I guess technology hasn't caught up yet. All right, guys, so let me see. Uh, right here, it's going to be the fifth pack I lost track we'll see okay so I still haven't hit any bangers I've hit like a lot of off-center cards come on I'm looking for something good come on oh. okay. all right let me move this trash yeah okay. all right guys all right we got another rookie Oh, I cheated there. Okay, we got another rookie, Luke, or excuse me, Jake Luton out of Jacksonville. Jacksonville will be an exciting team. Jacksonville will be a very, very exciting team. I can't wait to uh, see Trevor Lawrence. You know, I can't wait to see that team just develop. You know, it's going to be a great See, I might become a fan. Who, who knows? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I'll, watch, I'll definitely watch them, though. All right, so as far as centering, I can see the left and right is also off-centered. Yeah, I don't know. Why, why are all these cards getting... 
or being off center. I have no idea. Top to bottom looks fine, but it's the left to right. It's it's not even it's not that bad, but it's I can clearly see it. it's it is off centered. So I mean it's a better shape than the last car. It was way off center, but this one's definitely off center from left to right. So man. It's not really the quality of the cards that I'm getting. It's just these cards are being off centered, like really bad. So come on guys. And at the end of the video, I want to just summarize of what I got and kind of de determine, I'm going to try to determine, you know, what's the, the most valuable card, the most valuable card in this box. And then um, we'll go from there. But yeah, I'm just getting a lot of off-center cards right now. All right, so here's one of the probably greatest defensive backs that I've ever seen. And you even could look up his numbers. If any defensive back needs to get love, it needs to be Aaron Donald. This is a prison, or excuse me, a purple die cut. This guy needs to get love. If any prices need to increase for defensive backs, Aaron Donald should be the first one. I'm just looking at it, looking at it. Surface looks good. Might get a little dimple right there. Uh, I see one little dimple and then centering looks a little off from left to right. Also from top to bottom. Yeah, like I said, these die cuts are very hard to grade. They're just, you have to look at multiple things in a die cut as far as centering, you know, because with, with the four sided uh, centering, you only need to look at four sides. With the die cut, you have multiple sides to look at. So any of one of those could be off. And like I, I mentioned in the other die cut, every, every all the other sides, were pretty much centered and it was that that name play on the other one that was that was not off centered or excuse me that was off centered but yeah this one the same thing like left to right slightly off centered top to bottom is uh, other than that it's a good car it's a great car I like the I like these purple uh, die cuts very they stand out they really do it's just you know very hard to grade. I would not send this to grading. This is definitely just a card to keep, trade, or sell as raw, but definitely not sending this to grading. All right. All right, we got another rookie here. Chase Claypool out of Pittsburgh. He had a decent rookie season. Chase Claypool. He had a decent rookie season. I, I forget his numbers, but I know he had a decent rookie season. So looking at this card, again, it, it's, it's slightly off-centered from left to right and then also from top to bottom. Can you guys see that? Yeah, just, man. Centering, other than surface, I think centering is the most important thing when grading a card. It's the centering. You know, I think uh, people say that PSA will, will be easy on the centering. I don't think so. Not from my knowledge, and I don't know, forgot where I heard that from. It's not true. I would say the biggest thing that they're looking for is the centering. That's the, as, as anybody will look at a card, that's the first thing you notice is, is it centered? So that would be, that would be the same the same situation in any card and then the card I'm looking at right now. Um, it, yeah, it's just too bad, you know. 
just getting a lot of off-center cards. The Select wants to be a good product. Okay. I still like them though. It's, I mean, Select is, I have always thought Select was a great product. Okay, we got Andrew Thomas out of New York. Andrew Thomas' rookie card. I believe he's a defensive back, offensive tackle. Okay. So, yep, that's his rookie card. This centering. Left to right, actually, on this one looks really good. It's the centering from top to bottom. Top to bottom is slightly off. You guys see that? You guys see that from bottom to top? Slightly off. But from left to right, it looks pretty good. Either way, even if it was centered perfectly, I would not send this to grading because, again, like I mentioned, he's a def he's, you know, he, if he's on part of the offensive line or the defensive line, they don't get any love. So it's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Just accept it. But what I do, what I do with these kind of cards and, you know, the other cards that I don't regard as, you know, sending to grading is I'll put them in a box and I'll forget about them. And once I hear their name or once they, you know, they produce numbers, then I go back to that box. And even if I didn't send it to grading, I would still consider to sell it or trade it. So don't, don't, like I said, don't automatically get rid of these cards because there's going to be somebody that's going to eventually want them. And always, and also think you can always add them to a bulk sell. Like if you're, if you're selling a lot, throw it in there. Just throw it in there. Who's going to say no to select, you know? Like I said, I don't know anybody right now that, that doesn't like select. All right, all right, guys. So we're on a six pack. Okay, I got a good one. Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy, guys. Jerry will definitely be will definitely be hot this season. Yeah, I like Jerry Judy. Yep. Okay, and look at the centering. Okay, it looks it looks decent, but it's slightly off. I mean, yeah, left to right slightly off, top to bottom. I mean, it's not that bad. This card is really not that bad. It's slightly off from left to right. It's not that bad. It's a lot better than these those other cards that I pulled, and I'm thankful because it's Jerry Judy. Yeah, the center is slightly off from left to right but I would honestly consider sending this to grading this would be a card that I would definitely send a grading Jerry Judy uh, I think as far as popularity as far as like numbers wise he was right behind Justin Jefferson so you know, very good, uh, very good wide receiver, and he's part of the Broncos, you know? Like, I hope the Broncos t turn it around this season. I would like, I would like to them to see it, to see that. So, yeah, very good card. And it's just slightly off center, but other than that, it's a, it's a great card. I didn't see any surface issues. Yeah, it's a good card. All right, so I got another die cut. Cam Chancellor out of Seattle. Okay. I like these. I really like these purple die cuts. I just wish they weren't so hard to grade. This is actually a die cut, but it's a, it has a different shape. So I don't know if the variations of the die cuts matter. And to me, a die cut is die cut, but um, this one looks a lot easier to grade just because it still has four corners. It's, it's still a die cut, but it has four corners. So that's four corners less 
that you have to look at. So, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a nice card. I haven't got any purple prisms that I have deemed, you know, perfect for players I would consider, but we still have, what, four more packs? So we'll see. All right, so we got an insert here, Ray Lewis. Who's a Baltimore fan? Ray Lewis insert. Yeah, Ray Lewis, man, he was a beast. One of the, one of the most popular defensive backs is Ray Lewis. So, it's a really good insert. Uh, yeah, good car, but as I mentioned before, he's a defensive back. He or should I say, he was a defensive back. So they don't get any love. The only love they do really get is the rookie cards. You know, Ray Lewis's rookie card. Um, I'm not sure how much it's selling for, but. It's gonna be definitely more, it's gonna definitely be more than his other standard cards or his inserts like these. But still a good card. And you're always gonna find a Ray Lewis or a Baltimore Ravens fan out there, so keep that. Ooh, got a good one too. Got another one. Aaron Rodgers. Got an Aaron Rodgers select. This is a his premier level select. Good looking card. Really good looking card. Little off center from left to right and then also from top to bottom. Little off centered. It's funny because it's just like I see these things automatically. You know, it's just automatic. I, I it's like a it's like an instinct now, you know, it's just it comes naturally. And, once you get into the hobby and you've been around for so long, you know, you just automatically, you, you can grade a car with, with a open eye. Now, of course, I don't have the magnifying glasses or, you know, uh, the technology that PSA and HGA has, but this is what, this is what you do. You, you look at it first and deem it necessary to send it a grading or not, you know? So yeah, I mean, it's same thing like the others. It's just, it's off center from left to right, and then also from top to bottom. Yeah, I just, I mean, but hey, it's Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I have a bunch of Aaron Rodgers um, from, from over the years. Most of them's not graded. I'm probably not gonna get them graded. Even if this card was, you know, deemed a perfect 10 just raw like this i probably still would not send it to grading it's just because especially now because now you have to think about what you're saying to grading not only the condition of the card but you have to think of like long term you have to think of like okay if I send this in Aaron Rodgers to get graded how much value will it be worth after grading am I going to have to Am I going to break even? Am I going to make, you know, am I going to double my my profit into it? I mean, I don't know. And I have to ask myself, too, with all these, at the end of, at the end of all these cards, I'm going to have to ask myself, did I, did I cut, did I um, break even or did I make some profit? And I'll let you guys know. So far, um, well, to break even, I have to at least I have to get at least 160 worth out of these cards. That's how much this uh, this mega box was, was 160 I paid. So far, well, let's see it so far. Okay, let's just let's just do an estimate right now. Okay, We've got Jerry Judy. You know what, so far, I think I could get my money back. So far, I think I can break even and, and makes, you know, I can make, I can break even and possibly, possibly make a little profit so far. So that's good. 
That's really good. I'm just, I'm still looking for those older four players that I, I told you guys in the beginning. I have good rookie cards right here. I have good inserts. I have good uh, die cuts. It's just, it's not, it's not nothing like amazing that I'm just like, oh man, it's a great card. I mean, nothing really stands out. But as far as right now, I can still, I, I could at least break even. So I'm happy about that. All right, guys, so this is the, I don't know what, seventh pack? Something like that. I'm, I'm still looking for something, guys. Wish me the best. Okay, you got an Adam Teethlin. Adam Teethlin, okay. Out of Minnesota. And TJ Watts. Ooh, wow. Okay, I like this card. It's a TJ Watt. Purple die cut. Yeah, very good card. I like this card. Uh, let's check out the center, guys. Okay, um, you know what? It's it's really perfect all the way around, but same same reason as the other die cut. The nameplate is slightly, just a tad bit off. You guys see that from left to right on where the nameplate is? It's slightly off. I mean, just judging from the distance, it, it doesn't look like it, but you bring it up close it, and you can tell the nameplate is not centered. So, but still a great card get to have. So I would not mind holding on this card. And who doesn't like TJ Watt? I mean, I think the Watt brothers are just phenomenal. They're very, they're very well known also outside the, outside the, uh, the NFL. So, yeah, definitely good card. Definitely a keeper right there. We got Patrick Queen Rookie Die Cut out of Baltimore. Okay, yeah, he looks like, I uh, haven't heard his name before. He's a, He looks like, yeah, he's a defensive back. So, let's check out the centering. Yep, same thing. Same thing, guys. The centering... All the way around looks good. The nameplate, I haven't found one die cut that the nameplate was perfectly centered. But as you guys can see right here, nameplate is not centered. Can you guys see that? It's not centered. So at the most, if the surface was good, which looks like it, the rest of the corners look good. Now I look at it again, it's 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 also slightly off center from left to right. You guys see that? Just a, just a tad bit. But this one stands out more. This nameplate not being centered, this one this side stands out the most. So Yep, definitely not uh definitely not grading worthy here, Mr. Patrick. If you guys are wondering why I'm pounding like this, it's because I don't want I don't like to push down on the card because any pressure on the card really I just I feel like it damages it. So without putting any pressure on the card by by putting my finger in there, I, all I do is slam it on a, a solid surface and with just like this, and it goes in there goes in there perfect so that's just what I do I've, I've been doing that for a while now I you, you could there's nothing wrong with you know opening the the holder and pushing it down I just I've been used to just tapping it until it goes down that's just me so I just feel like I don't want I don't want to put any pressure on the card uh, so the last card in that pack was Patrick Willis the linebacker from San Francisco 
So, let me see. Let's check out the centering. Okay. Yeah, top to bottom, left to right, off centered. You guys see that? Left to right, top to bottom. You guys see that, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's just the very first thing. Let me get some more uh, plastic. Oh, got one right here. It's the very first thing I noticed. It's just you'll if if you've been in the hobby for a while, you're you think you probably have the same method. Is the centering is is the most important. I would take you know what honestly. I would take a perfectly center card over an issue with the surface. It's honestly, yeah. Because if a card is not centered, it just, it looks, it looks awkward. You know, yeah, you see the player, but what about, you know, you see everything else and you see the kind of like the imperfections, you know? So I would say centering is the most important. All right, guys, so this is pack seven. I'm not sure. Still have not gotten what I wanted, but we'll see. We still got three more packs. All right, we got a rookie card. Jeff Akuda. Akuda. I'm sorry if I butcher that name. From Detroit. And he is also a defensive back let's check out the centering on this okay so left to right slightly off mm, I would say the same thing down here with his nameplate it's just it's it's off so and so definitely not Definitely not grading material. Let me, let me get some more shoes. So what do you guys think so far? You think I, you guys think I'm gonna get a, a banger in those last two? So I got a couple cards here, but man, I'm just not getting any bangers. I was hoping to get bangers. I'm not getting no bangers. Give me bangers. Okay, Oop, go back to here. All right, we've got another rookie. Keyshawn Vaughn. Keyshawn Vaughn out of Tampa. This is a nice card. I would say it's a good card. They might this card. The only thing is the the, the grader might hit this card on the top to bottom. The reason I say that is because you see that space right there at the bottom. I'm hoping the camera could can see it. So you look at that space and you just compare it to the space where the top of the select is and they're not even. So you can automatically tell that it's not gonna be center from top to bottom. Then the grader will hit that because some some people just don't uh, don't know about that. But yeah, you had look at the spacing. If that spacing was the same as this or you know, vice versa, it'd be an immaculate card. Because I don't see any other any other issues. I don't see any surface issues. Yeah, no print lines, surface decent, but it's that small spacing from top to bottom that really matters. So, but this is a good looking card. Yeah, Keyshawn Vaughn. So he's a, he's, he's a upcoming running back. So hopefully he can, and what a good deal. What a good deal for Keyshawn Vaughn going into Tampa last season and getting that ring. I mean, you can't ask for nothing better. And also, you're, you're working with Tom Brady, so it's just, 
very, 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 very good. I haven't looked into Keyshawn Vaughn lately, though. You know. I think, uh... I think the main, uh... The main focus was on Fournette. You know, I think, I believe Vaughn... I believe Vaughn was his... Uh, was a secondary, but hopefully he gets more eyes put on him. All right, guys. So we got another insert and another Hall of Famer, John Elway. John Elway. I like John Elway. I just recently picked up his rookie card. Very cheap, too. Yeah, that's a good card. I think the centering might be good on this one, too. So here's another example, okay? You guys see that centering right below his name? You guys see that? Compare that to the, to the spacing right above where it says select. That almost looks like the same spacing. So it looks like this card is, is centered pretty good. So yeah, that's a good insert. John Elway. The... Legendary Broncos quarterback. And if you guys are thinking about picking up goats in the NFL, I, I recommend picking up his. Like I said, I picked up his. I picked up his rookie car along with Dan Marino and Jerry Rice. So I'm telling you guys, these these goats are the ones to invest in in the long term. Okay, because. They are super cheap right now. You might say, well, how are they going to rise? Or how are they, you know, they have to do something in order to make the card rises. Eh, that's partially true, but then it's partially not true. These cards can ra raise for any reason. You know, and I know, that the market is unpredictable. But you can guarantee that investing in goats, in goats just like John Elway, it's not a bad idea. And... I would totally recommend you guys investing into the goats of the sport. And you guys just look at uh, look at John Elway's accolades. He's a really a Hall of Famer. You know, he he put up good numbers. He he is he is up there with the best. So buy his cars now. I. I tell you right now, and I'm going to tell you guys later in the videos and down the road that I was right. Okay. All right. We got another rookie, Anthony McFarlane Jr. of Pittsburgh. Okay. So, yep. He's a running back. I, did, I didn't hear much about him. But look at the centering. Yep. It's, it's off from left to right. You guys see that left to right, and then also from top to bottom. Man, am I just getting the worst luck or right or what? Getting really getting the worst luck ever. All right, let me see. Let me get some more. So what do you guys think so far? I have two more packs left, guys. Two more packs. Am I going to get a banger? I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. All right, pack number nine, I want to say. <gasps> wow, guys, I got a banger. The second to last pack, I got a Justin Herbert rookie. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Justin Herbert select rookie card. Oh, before I look at the centering, just hoping it's good. Okay. You know what? Wow. 
the centering is it's almost it's it's not that bad it's slightly off from left to right you guys see that from left to right it's slightly off it's not that bad let's check out the surface surface is good I don't as far as I see there's no print lines corners are good sharp edges yep this will definitely be something that I would send to grading I would even consider it sending grading now Justin Herbert guys see I asked for it and I got it so this is his concourse uh, select this is a concourse level yeah this is this is a good card the reigning rookie of the year I'm interested to in see how he does with the Chargers I mean I saw a few games last season and man he fought he lost some really tough games he really did he and he didn't lose those games by very much but this guy, I guarantee everybody on the coaching staff in L.A. is very, very fond of him, very proud of him because he gives 120% when he's out there. So, very happy about this card. Um, like I said, it's slightly off-center, but you know what? At the most, I'll still get a 9 on it. Top to bottom looks decent. The the centering on the the nameplate looks yeah, it looks center. It looks decent. I mean, see, it's a little slightly off maybe the nameplate, but regardless, regardless, I think I'm more looking to left to right, and then of course that's gonna that's gonna affect the nameplate too being centered. So, but I still I would send this to grading. This is a good card. I finally got what I asked for, guys. And I actually, I have Justin Herbert in, and I have his rookie card, but it's in the Leaf set. So, I don't know if you guys knew this. Um, so, I, as I guess time-wise, you know, draft picks gets released first, and then the very first, the very first, um, Rookie card actually the leaf products are actually they're they're still in their college uniform. So never mind So I was gonna say leaf pro but leaf products are the first ones after the draft pick or what I think it's before If you guys can research that, you know, let me know if the leaf product comes out before the draft picks uh, Let me know But yeah, Justin Herbert guys so I would say so far I'm definitely getting I'm definitely hitting even and I'm making a little bit more profit if I was to sell this right now. Hey, I got another. Ooh, okay. I just saw another one and I'm gonna put this one back and show you guys this one. Check this guy, this guy out, Joe Burrow, guys. I got Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert in the same pack. How about that, guys? Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert in the same pack. That is freaking awesome. This is also his concourse level. Okay, let's check out the centering. It's not that bad. It's not. It's kind of like the same thing with the Herbert's card. It's slightly off from left to right, but other than that, it's... I see no other issues. Joe Burrow, guys. Yeah, I'm happy with that. See, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely uh, profiting out of this, out of this box, out of this break. So yeah, I would definitely send. Uh, this is his silver prism, guys. Did I check that? Didn't look like it. So okay. So this is Joe Burrow's Concourse Silver Prism. That's a banger right there. I, I would say this is, so far, this is the banger of, of the box. Joe Burrow's Concourse Select Silver. Yeah, man, I'm happy about that. I'm glad to show you guys too. I'm, sure, I'm glad that you guys are here to watch it and 
you know, and I enjoy these uh, these breaks with you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing more breaks. I'm gonna start doing more breaks with you guys. But yeah, I enjoy this. Look at that. That's a beautiful card. The shine on these silvers are just awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy about this card. Yeah, that's a very good card. I like it. So, yeah, definitely, definitely good. All right, continue on, guys. We've got another rookie, Antonio Gibson. Okay, this is another running back out of Washington that I'm closely looking at. He wasn't on my top five that I'm investing in for running backs when, on my other video, but he would probably get honorable mention. And this happens to be his field level, his select field level. So this is probably his most popular rookie card in select because it's a field level. So, man, see, I got this, Burrow, and Herbert in the same pack. This, this second to last pack happened to be like the best. So, you guys also need to, yeah, watch out for Antonio Gibson. This guy is definitely a candidate uh, to produce high numbers this next season. Yeah, this is his field level. Very good, very nice card. Um, okay, the centering looks decent on this too, yeah. Yeah, see, with the centering on these cards, they're not shaped like the other ones, but... Well, yeah, I, actually, I showed you guys one example. See the spacing on this on the bottom one for here? And look, compared to the spacing above the, the select logo, that's almost, it's almost the same. So, I would say that this is definitely grading uh, worthy. Yeah, I didn't see any surface issues either, so... And I like I like Antonio Gibson. You know, I almost forgot about him. But um, yeah, definitely a definitely a running back to watch out for. Antonio Gibson, definitely a sleeper. So happy about that card too. I'm happy about this second last pack. I got another JJ Watt. Oh, you know what? No. I have his brother. So now I have both. Let me, let me put this in the pack for you guys. Now I have both Watt brothers in the prism die cut. That is so, that's funny. And I'll show you guys. That's so funny. I was thinking it was the same Watt. No, it's JJ Watt. So, so let me see, let me see, find the other Watt. I know I have it, I know, I, and you guys, where is it? Ah, let me find it for you guys. Okay, so here it is. So check this out. I got both Watt brothers in the prison prism, or excuse me, the purple die cut. Right here, guys. I got both brothers in the pur purple die cut. That is so funny. Of course, JJ was more popular, and I hope he does very, very well in Arizona. So he's definitely going to help out that team. Uh, you know, with all these prism die cuts, it seems to be this is always the issue with the nameplate not being centered. So that's like a hit right there. But I, I'm just happy to get both brothers. That, that's awesome. That, that's awesome. The Watt brothers. Okay, guys, this is the last pack. Last pack. I'm already happy. Even if I, there was nothing in here, I'd be happy of what I got so far because I... Justin Herbert, you know, um, Burrow in the same pack, you know, you, what more can you ask for? 
So let's just open this last pack, guys. Ooh, I got a Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, this is a, this is a good box, guys. Patrick Mahomes. Okay. And this centering looks decent, too. Little off center from left to right, but I like the card. I like Mahomes. I like the card. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any as rookies. They are just all of them. His optic, uh, his prism, they're just out of my price range. But maybe in Dallas, I can get a hold of one or a trade for one. Yeah, look at that, guys. Mahomes. And if you guys have any um, any of his graded rookie cards, hey, hit. Hey guys, sorry about the end of the video. I don't know what happened. My uh, camera was malfunctioning apparently. So I pretty much wanted to end the video by showing you guys some of the same cards that I picked out out of the um, select box. And as you can see, I pretty much. I not only did I break even, but I made a little bit more profit. This is some of the Joe Burrow uh, select raw cards on eBay, currently selling on eBay. Right now, I have his. I have pretty much. I have this card right here. Is 2020 select Joe, Joe Burrow silver concourse rookie. So it's going for almost 150. So that almost pays for the box itself you know here's uh justin herbert i don't have any of his silvers but i i did pull the um the select concourse let me see if i can find it for you guys uh, okay let me just type it out that's probably easier it wasn't a die cut, okay. It wasn't a silver prism. Okay, so right here, this is this is the card. It looks like it's a uh, concourse at eh, twenty bucks. So why is he way cheaper than Burrow? Well, Burrow he had it. It was a silver prism, so that's why it's a little bit more. But I'm sure if I look at, look at other listings, it's this is a starting bit of twenty. But I'm sure. Here's another one for 35. So I'm pretty sure I can make 50 at least at least 50 bucks off of Justin Herbert if I decide to sell him. Here's T Higgins, 25 bucks. So, and you know this is just three cards. I can make if I was to sell the rest of the cards that I pulled, I would more than make my profit off of this box, but. It just goes to show you that Select is a good product to to have. Um, I'm excited to break more boxes with you guys. Um, so yeah, just expect more videos for me to uh, to upload of you know box breaking. I enjoy it and I enjoy just sharing that excitement with you guys. Um, if I was to do it by myself, you know, it's just I don't know. It's not exciting as if I was sharing it with you guys. So I'm happy to share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I appreciate everybody that's that watched the video to the end. I know it was a long video. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments. Like I said, like and subscribe. And that's it, guys. I will see you later. Take care.